Now we're going to talk about inserting links in your advanced search. So the first thing I want to do is that to make a email look really clean, what we want to do is we want to add a link to a message, but not have the whole address bar in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new tab. So let's say I want to introduce someone to Canva. I'm going to copy this link and I want to put it in my email. So when I compose a new email and let's say it's going to Nancy and I say, here's the Canva link. I normally could just easily paste this in here, but to make it look really clean, what I want to do is maybe make my email. Here's the link to Canva. Thanks. So what I'm going to do now is because I have that link still copied, I'm going to highlight the text that I want. I'm going to bold it. And now I'm going to select this little button down here, the insert link and paste my link in here. When I do that, you can also see that when I'm doing this, I can also change the text to display. So I, or I could use an email address if I wanted to, but I'm going to use this and hit okay. And now the email looks significantly better. Now that I have this link on here and what's really cool too, is that you can even check the link. You can remove it just by selecting it. Okay. That's how easy it is to insert links into your messages. The other thing I want to show you is the advanced search. So when you search for something, let's say if I'm going to look for any emails from Nancy, I'm going to type in Nancy. And what's new to Gmail are these chips at the top. So I can do an advanced search and select this little button right here. And I can figure out if I want it from, I can see if I can find emails to someone, the subject, the size, if it has an attachment, I can search that way. But what I can also do is that I have all the options right at the top at my fingertips. So if it was in mail or maybe if it was a conversation between Nancy and I, I can hit conversations. I can find out if it was from spaces. Let's say if it was from a specific space that I was uh, talking to Nancy about. Advanced search options are right here. So if it has an attachment, it'll switch. Maybe the type of documents I'm looking for, maybe it's a PDF. And you can see that anything that's shown up that has Nancy's name in it and has an attachment that is a PDF will show up. So this is just an easier way to find emails and not just in your emails, but also in your chat and your spaces as well.